New day, new adventure. Today we're actually at the Royal Palace. Grand Royal Palace. Grand Royal Palace. Uh, so we're gonna take you with us and show you a little bit around. Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for like all this area. It looks so yeah. huge. We drove past everything to find a parking spot. And, and it seems pretty big. It seems honest. really big, yeah. It's, it's pretty yeah. hot also. We have to like cover everything up, wear long pants. Yeah, long dress and cover everything. Yeah, actually I'm like almost dying, but <laughs> should be okay. So let's start, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so actually now we're in the Grand Royal Palace and to be honest it's really full. I can like show you around. And probably you saw a lot of people with umbrellas and it's raining, it's not raining that strong but still it's annoying like <laughs> I'm all wet to be honest. And yeah it's incredible, I mean those structures and they look completely different from our European ones and I don't know if all what's golden is real gold but I can imagine it is and yeah I, I lost the others of our team candid but I think I will find them sooner or later so don't wonder if it's only me right now but we all are here so Micah and Crystal are also there and yeah So at first I was skeptical if the price was an okay price. It's like 500 baht I think and now I'm pretty sure that it's worth the money. It's definitely something you need to do when you're in Bangkok or close to Bangkok. I mean this piece of culture is like unbelievable. I mean look alone at those at those uh, mosaics or at people look at me. It's like strange for me to film myself but look at those statues I mean where else can you see something like that incredible I, I'm lost of words actually look who I found finally yeah hey After we just walking around the Grand Palace taking a lot of picture yeah Instagram we were thinking like where's Nico Nico is somewhere like yeah vlogging. Nico was last with the camera so 90% of the vlog is gonna be Nico's face but we all know you will enjoy it so it's not too bad like living the Grand Royal Palace I think this is like one of the most beautiful places I ever seen like so colorful so much gold also like so many tourists but I'm not surprised there's a lot of them because the place is just like breathtaking like I've never seen something like that like so rich like gold crystal like different prints patterns like ornaments like everything so much of it but all fits together like so nicely like I'm really impressed with this temple I didn't think it's gonna be that full actually because it was raining all day but now I can see why so many people are here and like Michael said I, I also took so many pictures and snaps and sent yeah. to my friends and I, I also wrote to them it's like easiestly one of like top three most beautiful structures I've seen I mean growing up in Europe I've seen like a lot of castles and yeah. palaces and so on but it's like nothing compared to this it's like unbelievable here like for your life me as a european i feel like our building and, and palaces castles anything look so poor comparing to what we have here you know what i mean like so much gold crystals we just have like building maybe some paintings and stuff yeah, like that so we just had food i ordered like teriyaki chicken with rice and egg it was pretty delicious now Crystal is buying some souvenirs for friends. Yeah, I'm buying some souvenir for my friends. Exactly what I said. I haven't bought anything for my friends or any souvenirs to take back home yet. And I know like I need to get something, so I hope I'll find something nice over this market we're going to. So we just walked two meters from the last position to be honest. And this is like the river. What's the name exactly again? 
Jiao Pei Ya. And actually, it's like right next to the palace. And we park also on this river. I know that. So Next to the river, not next on the, the river. river. No, no, no. And actually, we decided to go to the other side because there's some kind of market. And yeah, we just bought the ticket for the boat, which is like 3 baht per person, 3.5. And right now the boat is coming to pick us up and yeah, actually there are like a lot of people waiting. We are not the only ones, so it's not our private boat. We are waiting. <laughs> mm, yeah. I just hope I won't slip off while walking on this. So now we arrived in that market, as you can see, and you can buy like food, drinks and clothes, some fake grey bands and so on, but actually uh, I again lost the others, so I'm on my own. I'm getting hungry actually when I see oh, all the spices, I think spices and snacks, filming me, not filming other people, so no one can complain. There's my Kalisi. Like paparazzi. <laughs> yeah, all Chris is also there, man, John. We dropped off Crystal and John, so it's only me and Micah left. Hey. And we are on our way to Vatpo. The Lion Buddha, you want to see? Yeah, like big gold Lion Buddha. And I was reading like it's like one of the oldest temples here in Bangkok. Yeah, but the problem is we decided to go by car. And as you might see... We're like, stuck in the traffic. It's like, it's crazy. As you can see, the barrier for the train goes down. Here on this side, you can still see it live. Car still driving. <laughs> They're still driving even though it went down. How? <laughs> Do you see? So yeah, it will take probably even longer now. But I guess that's fine. We have time. So this is some kind of horoscope we heard. So I need to think about something I uh, wish or like good thoughts. And I do like this, I guess. goes out 28 I think 28 yeah 28 28 28, 28 and now we like take some paper and see what it says I don't know, like, Come on, follow her. I think over there so I've got number eight and it says like just like an up uprooted tree life seems cheerless a transfer may help refreshing it up lost items unlikely to be recovered watch for miss matting Legal case hardly defensible, compromise or surrender recommended. No lux. Oh damn, no lux. <laughs> yeah. That's also good. Sadly, 28 is not there, so I have no future apparently. This is it for me, okay? <laughs> okay so we just out from the Golden Lion Buddha and actually we didn't film because I think it's like disrespectful to film and like talk but I just filmed like one time the... But without vlogging. But without that. vlogging, yeah. There were also yeah. a lot of people and here's like a <laughs> silent corner right now. But yeah, it's definitely worth to come here. Yeah, we also did like the thing, like there is like a lot of like bowls tr next to the wall and it said like if you put like to the coin to the edge of them, you will have like a good luck in your life. So of course we did it, we hope to have a good luck for a long time. For a long time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see like more of this temple, what has to happen. Yeah, offer. I don't know like, if there's more like or what's not. what's around, is there anything else, so that was it. Yeah. So we'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, see you around. <laughs> 